Mm. Smooth McCree is in the building. Free. Down low. Friday. Crab Tendo. What's going on, everybody? DJ Av here with another free download Friday. Your favorite day and my favorite day. And today we are checking out Full Bucket Audio's FB7999, which is an emulation of the Korg DW6000 and 8000. So it's an 80s throwback synthesizer that a lot of people have been talking about a lot on YouTube. So guess what? We're gonna check it out here. We're gonna get groovy. Links in the description box. Let me know how you feel in the comments. So when you click on the link in the description, it will look like this right here for the FB7999. And it is for both Windows and Mac, by the way. Uh, so that means that you just have to go to this area and download the appropriate version for me. Uh, I'm on Windows 11 right now. I don't know why I changed, damn. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and download it for Windows. If you are an Apple computer owner, guess what? You just got a dope plugin for the free ski. It's for you too. Here we are on my dusty desktop. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and say extract all, boom. And it will go to the desktop and I will find folder, it pops up the folder. And then I see that I will have to paste this into my VST folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy all this stuff. Then go over here to your C drive or whatever drive that you have all your VST plugins and let's go into program files that's for me it might be different for you go over here to my vst folder which has a ton of stuff and now i'm going to paste everything over yeah i'm not really feeling windows 11. I'm scanning in my mpc software right now because it does have a vst2 version and you know how to install it on your DAW of choice by now. If not, I have a video for FL Studio and Ableton Live and for this. Let's do some UK Garage today. Hmm. I'm gonna hit you off with this. Yeah, my two step is fine. If you want to know what I'm using to make this beat in this video, it was the MPC Studio, or it is, and the MPC software. I have all that in the description box too, because people are always ask me. But, anyways, yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty good synthesizer. I mean, one of the things I like about it the most is the fact that, you know, it's, it has pretty decent sound. So let's explore some of those sounds, shall we? So I'm playing some of the same chords from the progression from earlier. Hear how the next one sounds like. And 
if you're wondering like where are these progressions coming from uh these are the stock progressions with the mpc software or the beat software or whatever uh and of course with the studio i can just play them like you know i would on the mpc live x01 really like it i really really like this one thing i notice is you know some of the sounds they're not that loud and when you're messing with the basses you might want to put on something like a air maximizer or a maximizer plugin and they sound magnificent as far as velocity too for a vst plugin and this thing sounds pretty remarkable for a free plugin velocity wise like i haven't heard that much expression in, in many different uh new plugins and that, that comes down to like modulation and stuff so let's go ahead and talk more about the inner workings of this plugin i find this ui to be easier to understand than their past plugins that i have checked out though it's on par with the quality if not better than a lot of paid plugins so the first thing i want to talk about is it is vectoral uh, it is programmed in C++ and, and they weren't hiding that from you. So they coded it pretty well. Uh, and that could be juice, but yeah. So let's hear this sound real quick. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so you can hear me better. And I was surprised, like, you know, you can, let's mess with the octaves. Waveforms, let's change that up. Change the waveforms right here. We change the level. Let's go with the interval. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. So that is like fine tuning, I guess. In unison voices. Yeah, auto bend. So these are the two oscillators right here. So. If you're, you're wondering, um, this is oscillator one, oscillator two, and they have like the waveforms, the level, which is the volume, and then auto bend. I'm guessing that would be pitch bending or whatever. And then they have a mode up, mode down. I'm not sure about that, but whatever is there, cool. Uh, then you have your VCF uh, for your filter. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So you can shape out the, mm, that sounds so good. Uh, you can add resonance and then you can see the, the parameter move up and down. So I'm guessing if, as long as it's selected, you can mess with it. Key tracking, polarity. So let's open up the VCF. They have the VCF EG, which is the envelope. And you can apply the attack decay, sustain release, and so forth. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. VCA, you know, so that's like your amplitude. So if I was to smooth this out, let's uh, get a little bit more cutoff in here. So you can hear it in action. You can kind of fix that. And this, I'm, if I was to guess, that would be the modulation. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I mean, it is free. I mean, goddamn. So, tell me how you feel about this video. I know the suit is throwing everybody off, but man, I felt a little smooth, man, doing my UK garage type vibes, my two-step. So, you can't two-step in a pair of Jordans. You know that? And you can't two-step in, well, yeah, you can. I mean, obviously you can, but you know. O only people from the UK will get these vibes here. I mean, we're, we're 90s back in here, you know, old gang. And just let me know how you feel about this video.